This is Chisholm's Highland Dress and we've been in the business over the last half century. Our family have been into kilt making down the generations and going back to before my father's time uh, they were connected to the military and many of them were master kilt makers attached to the regiments. So when my father started the business we were fortunate in having many of our predecessors who produced these garments for my father. The business continued with my father and mother uh, until the, the boys, the four boys in the family uh, came along and uh, were all involved in the business. Kilts we make um, in a variety of different qualities and in a massive selection of tartans. Uh, the tartans range from many of the clan tartans the district tartans. You can have a tartan specially woven to your own specification and we've done this on many occasions for for folk that are interested in having a, a tartan that's different that has a connection with them for the coloration or their area. Our kilt workshop is on the premises and these uh, the garments are all made in these workshops. Our master kilt makers have uh, been producing these kilts for many many years and a number have been with us uh, for some 40 years. Um, the properties date back uh, over 200 years and the stones that, uh, that were used for the building of the property actually came from the old castle above us here. All the accessories uh, to build your complete Highland dress uh, stem from your shoes, your kilt hose, in a great variety of colours and uh, the garter flashes that hold the stockings up, the sporran and again there's a wide selection of sporrans in all the different styles, in the, in the day wear sporrans, in the semi dress sporrans and the dress bottoms. The kilt lasts really uh, a lifetime and, mm. and you know many of these garments that are passed down the generations are passed again from father to son and, and even uh, grandfather's kilts uh, come into us that uh, the young men want them renovated or remade or rebuilt. That's an old one too, that's been back 150 years ago, that. that's something maybe it's shipped one. Yeah. And really that, that was a labour of love because the number of pleats in that, mm. there's roughly about 80 odd pleats in it. And yeah. the tailoring on it, the hand tailoring, you know, that was from uh, an old family that uh, we made kilts for mm. and they left us with the old one that, uh, the, uh, that's one of the Fraser families. And you almost uh, should have it in an exhibition or something. Yes, that's it? true, that's right. Mm -hmm. We've produced for, for many different folk over, over, over the years mm. and it's surprising sometimes you know, the fact that the interest, where it stems from, and uh, even from Europe, the, the, the number of uh, orders we've received from uh, Germany and Holland and Belgium, and uh, many of these, you know, we have produced uh, to their own specification. Yeah, and, and are these sort of people with Scottish connections? Or? Uh, some have, some have uh, connections in their ancestry, mm. but many of them have no connection, uh, but obviously have a great deal of interest in, in Highland dress. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's amazing really that, you know, that they, they obviously, I think uh, for a percentage of them, they do, I think, have a wonderful romantic idea of, mm. of Scotland and mm. uh, what Scotland's about, because they obviously enjoy mm. the... the uh, uh, everything Scottish. Legacy of Walter Scott. And that, yes, that's yeah, right. Yes, Rob Roy. And